Hi everyone, welcome back to Beach Angel Tarot. I'm here to do a March 2021 Goddess Yumi Eye Womb of Creation reading. And gosh, I think we're on March 8th or we're going. We're going on March 8th already, like tomorrow. I think it's the 7th today. So I don't know where this month went or is going, but I thought I better get to it and get one posted. And I got guided to two decks that I haven't used in one of these for a while. I'm not gonna say I never use this one in this deck, in this reading, but it is the Lunar no Nomad Oracle. And I'm gonna use the Fairy Forest. And I'm hearing the word ground. So grounding is gonna be important. Grounding, it's like, I'm getting like a visual of um, like like a landing, like an airplane landing. Um, so I kind of feel like something coming in from, like something you're manifesting, actually materializing in 3D. Like something's like coming in, grounding in, you're gonna see something in 3D that has only been in your mind, in your imagination, it's going to be more um, concrete. It's going to be more, it's going to be in the physical now. So things forming, maybe something that you've only imagined about for a while, or you've been trying to manifest into your life, it's coming. Since we're pretty good into March, I would say over the next 30 days, I wouldn't say maybe by the end of March, but I mean, give or take. I'd say this is going to be more for like over the next 30 days for some reason. It's going to eke into April a little tiny bit. I want to say 4-4. Four, four. So into April 4th. I'm not quite sure what day Easter is. I should have looked. I think it's pretty early in April. But yeah, it's like grounding, something coming in, something coming in for like a landing kind of visual feeling. Which is interesting. I don't always get visuals like that, feelings like that in the beginning. So... We're going to see the Lunar Nomad Oracle. What? What? This is going to be an opening. I'm not going to do... There isn't like an overall March energy. This is not it. This is going to pull up an energy that's also important and may factor into the rest of the reading, but we're going to see. So connecting with God's Jimmy I, Movement Creation, Energy, Archangel Michael, to protect our time and space together. Um, I'm hearing the word ground again. Like grounding is so important this month for whatever reason. It's just like, I don't feel it's like a plane crash kind of thing, but it's, I think something is just going to suddenly, it, it almost feels like a plane crash, but not bad. Um, it feels like a sudden, like a, like something suddenly just like, not falls from the sky kind of feeling, but kind of, but. Something is suddenly in your path that wasn't there before that maybe you've only thought about and then there it is. It's like, mm, there it is, you know. So that's the feeling I'm getting. So it's like to prepare for this sudden entrance of something into your life. I feel like this one's talking to me. We have child. So very, very interesting. Um, because some people may you know, literally find out you're pregnant and that can be jarring, right? There's a jarringness coming in. Um, you may be pregnant and having your child in the month of March, um, finding out you're having a child. For those that do not resonate with having a child or getting pregnant, um, going to read a little bit, but this can also be new beginnings. It says, a child, innocence, youth, small in proportion. Magic is the truth of the child because creativity and imagination are limitless in their big, bright eyes. For them, the world is full of possibility. They are pure, universal love made manifest. I'm going to kind of skim here and see. 
It says, you can awaken the inner child by listening to music, playing outside, painting with your fingers, or coloring outside of the lines. Anything that engages your senses, inspires play, and done for the simple joy of doing, feeds the child within you. Okay, this seems important. The child puts you in touch with the unlimited power of creation. And so that's what the feeling of something being created, something coming in. The child puts you in touch with the unlimited power of creation. What are you bringing to life? See, there is something coming to life this month. What are you bringing to life? What do you want to bring to life? On a more mundane level, the child announces the arrival of a child, a new baby in your life. So there's an, there is an announcement here of something new coming into their physical reality and um, she wants us to get in touch with our unlimited power of creation so we are unlimited in our ability to create things here in the 3d physical plane right we are truly so much more than our physical bodies and the power that we have the power of our minds the power of our imagination and our own magic, our own soul self, right? So it's all here bringing in um, new life and what we are bringing to life. Uninhibited by the rules that the world has so harshly assigned, the child adheres to different call. The song that lives inside. The song of imagination, creativity, and dreams. Uninhibited by rules seems important there. And we see music. Musical notes on the card. So no rules. Which I don't like rules. Um... So let's see where the fairies take us because that would be kind of interesting sort of following the feeling that kind of something coming in something being created like a new child you know that's a new creation it's not been here before and there it is so, oh, there it is and it can also be a new beginning without the structure of the past without the rules of the past without the regulations of the past so you may suddenly find you are in you know, you're freed up from something, you know, you're in a different job or a relationship changes and you're free of a responsibility. There's something here. It could be energetic like that, too. It doesn't have to be a tangible 3D thing. It can be an energy that's new that doesn't have these uh, restrictive vibrations that are attached to it as well. So I'm focusing on my spread and I'm just going to shuffle and cut the deck. March energy AI to show us our March energy. I may be referring to the book. I may not be referring to the book. This has given me the energy of that census thing. I don't know what the name of it is, where you can, I don't know if everybody's heard of this or not. If anybody's heard of it, you can find the name of it and put it in the comments below. But it's that where you can hear color and see sound or, you know, it's like the senses kind of get mixed up. It's, there's a word for it and it's giving me that. I mean, being drawn into their eyes and the notes dancing around. So being able to see something too. This feels very third eye, very clairvoyant. 13 is a uh, death card in, tar in tarot.
Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna move on, but it kind of caught me up in the energy of death and um, birth and just like it went pretty deep there for a minute. I don't know where exactly, but um, death and rebirth. It feels like death and rebirth to me now. Um, it feels scorpion. It feels very deep like that. So reincarnation is a word and past life is coming up. Um, seeing the melody of it. Oh gosh, it's very, ra it's, and then it's turning now into like a six of cups. So it's a, um, it's like a progression there. reincarnation and past lives and six of cups and seeing how everything kind of fits together it feels like an aha moment but for some reason the ability to kind of like hear colors and see um i don't know it's like the the senses get mixed up i don't know exactly what that word is or how it's ex to ex else to explain it but there is something there with that feeling too. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Energies around our mo month of March. Uh, this will overrule our month of March. And it is the ancient elder experience lessons. The ancient elder experience lessons. Elder. So it feels. High Priestess, she's holding that book. And again, the owl, the silence. This feels like the song, the sound of silence. Lessons, information, silent information. And again, it's going deep into like the scorpion, death, rebirth. Um, reminding me of like the chorus books i'm seeing one of those chorus books in the church like when you sat down at the pew and you picked up like you know you had the bible there and you had your um music your music book kind of seeing that for something some reason in my mind's eye um but after you did it so long you didn't really need the book right you knew the words you knew the song so it's that feeling of knowing that even though you have the book, she's not looking at it. She has it pulled up to her heart and she's not really needing to look in it. She knows it by heart, they're saying. Okay, <laughs> a little slow there. She knows this by heart. And I'm feeling this on a very deep level. Whatever this is coming, you know it by heart. Um, if, if it's a person, they know you by heart. It transcends information. It's like as if information got... Um, it's like when I was feeling that confused, like seeing color, not seeing hearing, like if I was hearing a color or, you know, tasting a word or whatever, there's some weird, weird word for that. Um, but this is like as if everything kind of got construed, messed up, screwed, you know, screwed around somehow energetically. Um, but you know it by heart. And so you don't need uh, that structure of the book you don't need the structure you don't need the rules you don't need it spelled out for you you know this by heart okay so this is an interesting message so our energy around the month of march is that we know this by heart we don't need a manual we don't need the chorus book or the song book um this information is within us and it doesn't matter i feel this is very past life i feel this is very like reincarnation-y kind of like ener deep energy like that we can sense somebody we know even if they're um in a different you know in a different body like past life energy like so there's you know it's that you don't need the book you don't need the body you don't need that you know this energy this vibration this information even if it's rearranged in a whole nother way um you know it by heart 
So this is the most important message. So following your heart, following what your heart is telling you over your head, your intuition, what anybody else is telling you, you have that wisdom. Your heart knows and it knows the way and it knows what this is or who this is or whatever's going on here. I don't know what it is. To me, it now feels like a person, but um, doesn't necessarily mean it has to be. It can also be a place like for me here. Um, you know, I was guided to this specific location. I like it here. Sometimes I think, oh, you know, I should have maybe went where it was even a tad bit warmer. I'm in, I'm, I'm in confusion. <laughs> no, I'm not. In, um, I'm in Florida and I sometimes, I mean, it gets, I'm in Northern Florida and it gets a little cool here sometimes through the winter. No snow for the most part, but I mean, I guess there's a freakish every now and again, so many years of a little bit of snow, but I still think, oh, you know, through the winter months, it could still have been a little warmer. I should have went, but where I'm going with that is um, there's something here that my heart knows this is where I was meant to land. This is my spot. Um, and it, it, my mind can start that chatter. Oh, you should have went a little further. You should have did this, should have did that. But my heart knows uh, outside of what my mind thinks the right way would have been, right? So um, every now and again, my mind will have that doubt, but my heart knows, heck no, you know, this is it. Um, so it will like hush it rather quickly. So that's the kind of you know, feeling, but this for some can be a person too. So for me, it's kind of like a place, but it could be a person. It could be anything that your heart knows uh, outside of the physical um, appearance of it or, you know, information that it portrays or how it looks. Your heart knows what it is or who it is. Okay. Something she would like us to create more of or spend more time on in March, and it is the Hedge Witch. Herb, wisdom, secrets, hidden lore. So number five. So the word secrets comes right up to me. Um, and it goes right along with the, the feeling of this being the high priestess. Um, this is the, the five is the hierophant. I'm not going by the number on this. I'm just going by the feeling on this one. This feels like high priestess to me. Um, But it also has a five and it. it has a four, which is the emperor and a five. Emperor and high priest, no, emperor and hierophant. And so hierophant here too with the word secret. So again, secret knowledge. Maybe keeping it to yourself, spending more time not revealing what you know. Um, But getting in touch with that hidden, it says hidden lore secrets, getting in touch with that hidden um, unspoken information, like kind of sitting with it. You, you know, if you feel like you want to let your mind analyze it, you can do that. But truly, your heart knows what it is. There's something here about a secret that she wants us to spend more time on or create more of. But we don't like to keep, we don't like to create secrets. I want to see where this takes me just a second. Like, I want to feel it. I feel like there's something coming, just like all that craziness came back here. I want to create a secret. I feel like she's saying, I want to create a secret. I'm going to take a peek in the book just to see if it... So it's working with what is in between. Avail effective and natural, yet natural, available and yet hardly acknowledged. So she wants us to spend more time working with what is in between. like to me it's what's in your heart versus and it's it's what's what's in your heart and what is in like the book like you know the words by heart but they're in the book but they're also in your heart it's like there's something about the inner and the outer what's in your heart can't be seen it's not written it's felt okay so we're here we go it's not written it's felt 
Oh, so it's it's simply feeling what's in your heart. She wants us to. This is they're taking me around the bush here. <laughs> so there, it's to simply feel what's in your heart. You can see she has the book pressed up against her heart, like it's um, an impression. It's like as if you. It's feeling like that braille feeling. I did a reading a while ago, and it felt like I was touching something and imparting information to it as I touched it and there was no words okay not no words were imparted there is like an exchange of information without words without it being spoken without it being written or read um by the eyes it's felt so it's to spend more time feeling that energy feeling that and feeling it so you, I don't know if you have to touch it to feel it or you just have to assimilate it and feel it. So getting in touch with, sitting with the feeling. Don't dismiss it, I'm getting. Don't dismiss it. Don't analyze it. Um, feel those feelings. Feel what it is. Allow yourself. It's like there when I get into that, I feel like she's not just holding that book over her heart. It's like she's holding it in there like, you feel this now, like, you know, like this one here, it's like she's holding it up to her heart and it's like, now you stay in there and you feel it. It's like making your heart feel this, whatever this is. Um, it's like the secret whispers of the heart. Is there a song? I think there's a song. Secret whispers of the heart is the words. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit say secret whispers of the heart. So it's like, a, you know, not making your heart feel it, but just sitting with it, feeling what your heart is feeling. Secret whispers of the heart. Spending more time feeling it. Feeling the secret whispers of the heart. Not allowing your mind to dismiss them. Um, accepting what it is that your heart knows about this energy that came up here. And I feel like this comes in like a thud. Whatever this is, whatever this represents, comes in like a thud in March. It just like, boom, it just hits you um, for whatever reason. It's like a emergency landing kind of feeling. It's like, there it is, you know. And she wants you to spend more time processing by the heart, not the mind, the secret whispers of your heart. Uh, because it's that inner knowing your heart knows versus and you may think how can this be how can that be but it is it is she's saying so energies around love life for the month of march the dreamer visions trance apparitions and i feel like i'm gonna have to read this one because this feels like it's going wow deep and this person's asleep. The dreamer. Visions, trance, apparitions. Wait. Okay, uh, here we go. You are pure magic flowing through you. You have pure magic flowing through you. And that's what the child card said, I do believe. Um, in the form of visions, dreams, and trance-like moments. And I said this felt like clairvoyance. You are visually psychic and all the world is full of messages being relayed to you both through the medium of physical sight and through the eyes of spirit. You, have even, you may even find you are able to enter trance extremely easily you're adept at reading patterns within nature you can scry without meaning to and you look into every face knowing the story of that it is silently sharing so again it's like sensing the information you don't have to um speak it you can sense it you know um One glance gives you the information about the person or place you are with or within. Okay, this is a, this is a, this is the message for love life right here. One glance gives you information, and that's the information, the secret whispers of the heart, right here. 
gives you information about the person or place you are with or within. And your skill is an ancient one revered throughout the ages. And so, yes, the wisdom, the elder, the experience. Your skill is an ancient one revered, revered throughout the ages. So you have the skill, your heart knows, you have the wisdom to assimilate. Um, so I do feel this is all connected to perhaps love life, partnership. Um, it can be a love, you know, with love of life. It, again, it can be a love of a place too. Like you have the innate ability to know. Um, the silence sharing. The silent sharing, the secret whispers of the heart, the silence, the secret, the, the silence of the high priestess, right? And again, it's going back. I said sound of silence. It's all going back there to this. You may find yourself gazing intently at other people's faces and picking up information, being able to read expressions, seeing shapes and patterns and fate within the forms tea leaves take at the bottom of a cup, reading signs and clouds, simply knowing what will happen before you open your physical eyes because you can see what is to happen next. Your eyes at this time are immensely important. So on the mundane level, please be sure to check your eyes and your vision visually. You are very sensitive, so it may be time to change your environment, your appearance, or the appearance of where you spend much of your time so that it better offers you energy which to which to go forward. Trust that your visions, they come from a magical place, and when you become able to read and understand them, you will be the dreamer indeed. Your vision is coming to reality. Keep going. Your dream will become manifest in your life very soon. So it's like your dream is coming. Again, there's that thud that your dream will become manifest in your life your vision is coming into reality coming into reality it's the it's the the boom so whether this be love life whether this be a person whether this be a place or anything else i mean it could be a car i mean it could be that love of the car i don't know but you know, I don't know how you would know it was from, you know, this feels very deep. This feels very past life aspected, again, with a person or a place, or maybe both. I don't know. Um, but it is saying that it is coming. Your reality is, your vision is coming to reality. Keep going. Your dream will manifest in your life very soon. So, um, but it's also saying that you... Um, one glance gives you information about a person, place, or thing within. That's what I said. I saw the children's eyes. And so it's just the eyes to the soul. And then, this, you know, the secret whispers of the heart. It's all in there. It's like um, all connected. Oh, I got a hair on my... Okay, so we're going to move on. That was rather deep. Energies around finances. I'm used to shuffling. Elf struck. Enchanted be guild in, in spell. Do you know what I kind of, when I said elf struck, I got that thunderstruck and we have 18 is the moon. Um, and so thunderstruck for me is a sign of Thor. So powerful change in finances, enchanted, be gilded, inspelled. So I just feel a lot of magical help. I feel, um, a powerful change coming with finances could be around the full moon in March, which I think is close to the end of March. So I'm just going to let it at that. I'm not going to go too deep into that, but I feel like by the 18th, there'll be a powerful change. Um, I always like to say for the better because, um, that's my positive, <laughs> my positive personality. So, uh, I won't say that it's like a, the tower, you know, thunderstruck is Thor and that is all connected to the tower energy and tarot as well. 18 is the moon and there's a bit of mystery in there so there's like a little surprise and Thor is also connected to Saint Nicholas as well so um yeah I would say it's good just from the whole association so there is a sudden change a sudden powerful um shift in finances around the 18th something she'd like us to cleanse in the month of March and it is elven touch recovery come back Revival eighties.
come back and revival. This feels tied to the rest of it, but let me take a peek. Doubt. I'm hearing cleanse your doubt. Because something comes back. Something comes alive. Revival. Something comes back and is revived. And there may be doubt. Again, your mind may want to say, you know, you're, you're being silly. This can't possibly be... Um, you know, where I spent a past life or this can't possibly be a past life partner or, you know, your mind will be like against it, you know, or maybe, you know, questioning it, doubting it. And she's saying she wants to cleanse that doubt. Eight. You're being offered the assistance of the elven touch, a healing touch of energy that transfers to you some of the gifts of immense good health, which aids immediately in your recovery. So if you're if you're not feeling well, she wants to help you cleanse any ill health as well. For those that are maybe um, suffering from physical ailments, she wants to help cleanse that for us, which is awesome. The transfer of magical energy from the elves offer you a spark of vitality um the illuminous quality that helps us awaken each day refreshed and ready and renewed with renewed enthusiasm vigor and optimism the elven ones are now stilling themselves and gathering their energy to send you when you are ready to receive being touched by the elves has always been very known to be very powerful they can heal and they can harm and for you, the transfer of energy brings forth great healing and relief from physical pain. Seek healing treatments as an evolved touch. So, <clears throat> so it can be physical ailments, but I also feel it's tied to the other and cleansing any doubt. So this could be, you know, 50-50 split here or a boat for each um, energy. Seed of uh, new energy to plant around the new moon, which is, I think... March 13th coming soon so the seed of new energy is queen of dark wood elves I love the elves because elves are of course connected to Saint Nicholas too as well uh, seed of new energy <clears throat> Pre premonition foreshadowing mystery 40 and then I look in the book but we're gonna see and it's dark and it's the dark moon it's so interesting Mystery is the word that sticks out to me, but let's take a peek. Okay, so she comes, this dark elf, the queen of the dark wood elves has come forth to speak with you and ask you to be aware that something is approaching when the when she appears there is a kind of foreboding and unsettling energy akin to when a storm is gathering its power and that's where did i see that struck elf struck which was financial energy but still um it's that same feeling when a storm is gathering its power there is a very potent force readying itself in your life so again it's that Maybe the energy it takes to bring this forth um, into your awareness. Like awaken you, awakening to, to you, awakening it to you. Um, the force it takes to like wake you up to it. And while to, okay, there is very potent force writing itself in your life. And while its impact is yet to be truly felt and experienced, it is best to ready yourself now. So it's to plant the seed to get ready for whatever this is. It's the same feeling that I had in the beginning where, you know, boom. And this is dark. So again, you don't see it coming, right? There's a mystery here, a dark mystery. It's only, I'm only saying the word dark, not to be scary, but because it's not seen and the new moon is a dark moon. So we don't see as much at that time, right? Um, it's like a blind spot. So when this card comes, make good your defenses, tend to injuries and wounds, be they psychic, mental, or physical. Take care of unfinished business and bring in whatever you can. Gather up resources and be ready for when the moment strikes and descends upon you. Because something that was unexpected could have been 
because something that was unexpected could have harmed you, could have taken you unaware, but now you are forewarned and truth be told, you are now forearmed. There is no cause to be scared, frightened, or anxious. This card indicates that you have time to prepare, grow stronger, and meet with what is to coming, what that what is coming face on. You will move through this time you are now warned of and you will be very strong due to the challenge. But make no mistake, there is a challenge coming and you can now prepare to minimize its impact and ride out the intense wave of energy it brings into your life. So there is a, this could be the intense energy. You know, it can be so, you can, it can be so intense that you want to, you know, you see it maybe as, you know, a negative at first. I'm not sure. Um... <sighs> I don't feel like this is entirely bad, but I do feel like, again, that sense of like, like the same energy I got in the beginning, like boom, something's coming. Um, you know, it's that something's entering in that is going to be in our path that wasn't there, right? So whatever this is, however it shows up, there is an intensity to it that for good or for bad, I don't, I don't necessarily see it as bad, but it's going to bring a change. It is coming, I would say by four, four. What, what number is this? This is four, 40. So I'm, I, for some reason, got taken back to the fact that for some, this could go all the way up to the first week in April. And it's going to bring a change. So the seed of energy to plant is to prepare, just like you would prepare for a storm. Bring your things in from outside so they don't get blown away because the wind's whipping up, storm is brewing energetically. And um, yeah. So what is going to come to completion by the full moon? I always like to say a good completion because that was a little bit like, wow, um, this whole reading has been intense. But I kind of knew it was when I got guided to these decks. I knew it was going to be a little deeper, but that's okay. We want to see what's coming out, right? Also, I'm really being drawn to her face, her ears. And it looks like, okay, maybe it's a piece of wood, but it looked to me at first sight like an owl with a wing. Um... And there was an owl on this woman's head. So owls could be important this month. But her ears are kind of, you know, very prominent. So hearing something too. So you may want to plant a seed to hear something, to get some sort of information. Um, but there, her ears are kind of perked up there to me. But it's to prepare for that mysterious um, whatever is coming. Um, just like you would a storm. Because it's going to... Be a little disruptive, I think, when it when it descends upon you or you awaken to it, however it comes. It's either gonna you're either gonna get the force for you to awaken to something or it's gonna appear in your path somehow. Um and you'll have no avoiding it. It's just gonna be like there. Or you you're realizing something. And for a lot, I feel like it has to do again with a person or a place. So what is gonna come to good completion by the next full moon? And we have Arwen. 41 gift divine inspiration awakening this is what i said some are going to awaken to this so again we have april 1st here and it adds to five which is change so i'm gonna read a little bit but it's um just kind of ending where we were going awakening and gift is saint nicholas so we did have a bit of his thor energy in there the thunder the thunder struck the elves struck so to speak <laughs> it's kind of funny when you think about it so I really don't feel this is bad because of Santa and the elves and that little joke there. I don't feel it's going to be, hopefully everyone has watched to this point. Um, I don't feel it's going to be a bad thing. I think it's going to overall be good. It could just be a little shocking and they're trying to give us a heads up. Um, it says, Arwen translates to divine inspiration or flowing bre breath. It is, in, it is a mystical force that offers us a moment where there is a sudden surge of newfound knowledge, inspiration, thought, and the ability to awaken our dormant talents and a sense that before we were given this gift of Arwen, we were like sleepwalkers. Again, that sense of being asleep. And like I said, awakening too. Um, we were like sleepwalkers. She is, Arwen is a moment where life is forever changed. And that's what we were saying. Um, just like a child coming into your life. Changes your life, right? It's, you're never the same after it arrives. Um, Arun is a moment where life forever changed. And once we drink of Arun or feel it as a beam of divine light entering us and changing us, 
we can never return to who we were and the world is never the same again. So, so when the card comes to you, you must know now that having experienced what has taken place, you cannot pretend life can ever be the same. You have lifted the veil and you have seen the face of the divine. Lifted the veil. So it's that inner knowing, you know, it's seeing beyond. It's seeing beyond. This is why this felt like death. This is the afterlife. So is you know, the veil is lifted. You're seeing um, something beyond its form. You're knowing something beyond the physical form. So you're you're connecting to it in that unphysical realm of beyond, beyond the veil. So it's definitely going back to that. It's going and, you know, it's ending where we started, really. Um, you have lifted the veil and you have seen the face of the divine. You have drunk the elixir of the gods and the fairies have offered you their greatest gift. Arun does not stay, but the knowledge of what we have experienced in the moment changes us forever. So now that you have had this life-changing experience and been given this incredible moments of inspiration, you can either pretend to yourself that life is without magic or you can continue to embrace the magic in your enchantment of every moment now if you choose you can become more fully alive and while this is no easy path it is one that is full of deep joyful moments true connections and poetic blindingly beautiful experiences our room will come and from time to time and you are so blessed for having had this moment of sublime and life-changing of all mystical experiences and the artwork is snow white for some reason, I, I read that one on there. I didn't read it on the other one. So, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's not going to really get too much into that, but definitely um, an awakening is what's going to happen to something that you can't miss. <laughs> you're, it's either going to plunk physically down in front of you or you're going to wake up to a knowing uh, that only your heart knows, but you're, and it cannot, it cannot change your mind about. Your mind can't be changed about this. And it's changing... It's like a before and after moment, you know. Um, you're not going to be able to go back. It's like once you know it or once you feel it and sense it and, and accept it and you don't doubt it um, and you absorb it and take it into yourself and onto yourself, you can't um, go back. It's changing. So there's a life-changing energy that's coming in, just as I felt in the beginning. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed this reading. Sorry it was so long. Hopefully I'll get it uploaded tonight or before the month of March is over. But remember, this will go into, and this is even for, um, for some it may go for 13, but I doubt it. I, I think it's more like the first week in April, but it very well may go into um, a little bit of April, but I feel it's the first week. Like I would say 4-4 four, four seems important. Um, it could go to like 4-7 or something like that. Angel blessings to everyone. Oceans of love.